Hi guys, this is Rosa from Rosa's Resources. I'm actually driving and uh, it's a lot of traffic. And this is my prayer closet, so it's a perfect time to do um, a video. Uh, this is a requested video. Um, this video is about when to walk away from people, places, and things, <laughs> okay, without any fear. Okay, because if you believe in God, there is no fear. There is not of God. Okay, so let's talk about it. I'm just going to, I'm just basically this video, like I said, um, I was just driving and I made a video earlier on uh, a short video. And um, I guess someone on one of my followers would like for me to elaborate. So then I will. Um, in this life, guys, um, sometimes you have to walk away from people that you love, jobs, places, whatever it is. Let's let me go, let me break it down a little bit. And you can't you cannot do that with fear. <sighs> you guys ever in a situation where you keep on pouring into the situation, pouring into the situation? And it's almost like holes is in the bottle or holes is in the situation. No matter how hard you try, you're still just not making it. You're like, actually, you're drained. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm, I'm in Queens. Ugh, I took this way because I thought it was going to be less traffic. I wish I could turn the camera around and I'll show you guys. Man, this is horrible traffic right now. I'm by the tennis court. The, uh, where, where Venus and all of these people play tennis. And I'm telling you, it's traffic. Thank God it's not Yankee game because I would have ran into the Yankee traffic. And thank God it's not a Mets game. Hopefully it's not, but it's a lot of traffic anyway. Whether tennis is playing in Queens or, or, or the Mets is playing or both, like it's traffic nightmare. And plus, I, I'm in the area where there is... Um, um, LaGuardia Airport is here. I wish I could turn the camera around, but anywho, can I? No. Anyway, the way my camera is set up right now. So anyway, guys, let's get that to the point. So you know how like you have like um, a water bottle and you put holes in it? Like that's just um, an example of the situation that uh, you're in. Um, it could be uh, a location situation where um, you're trying, you're trying to stay in that location. Um, and no matter how hard you try, something is just not going right. Um, maybe it's the people you're around, you know, you're just not getting along. Sometimes you get like a neighbor from hell, you purchase a new house and you got a neighbor from hell. So it's like you purchase a new house. The house is in a beautiful location you more than could pay for the rent but this neighbor is a nightmare from hell some people will say i'm not moving i'm not giving up my spot but after being in this situation for years on top of years and it's not getting better even though you're living in your house not on the street when you come outside you and your neighbor is just arguing it's like overwhelming it's way too much actually i've seen um an incident like that on the id channel i love to I used to, I should say, I used to, I used to love to watch the ID channel and I see where, uh, like a lot of neighbors, like this is a real story, like from forensic science is a, is a real story guys. And, um, people had to up and leave the neighborhood because you had the, the nightmare neighbor from hell. Um, whether you live in an apartment or a home and, um, they just, they don't give up. Oh yeah, it's a tennis game. Wow. Flush and metal Corona park. I, see, this is the reason why I couldn't go here because I refuse to sit in the car waiting for park. And I wish you guys can see it. it's traffic everywhere. But anyway, yeah, so I <laughs> get distracted a lot, guys. And not to mention, now I'm back on this uh, traffic subject. So I'm in Queens, Long Island right now. I think this is Queens. And these people don't know how to drive. They're always wrapped around the pole. Every day you go on home, it's always traffic nightmare and then i'm gonna get to the job part of it yeah so you know you live in a house and you're just not happy you're just not happy you can't if you have um like barbecues or you know you have neighbors over 
you know, when you live in a um, certain neighborhood, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to use Long Island, for example, it's a very, especially like Suffolk County or some of the snootier area. Um, you cannot just be doing things like they have their own police department and, you know, you have the nosy neighbors that um, they, they don't have a life. And because you have a life, I came off the wrong way. Why? Um, <laughs> I think I did. Save the cops. Airports. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got distracted. Yeah, this video is all over the place. Anywho, yeah, you have the people, um, and they call the nosy neighbors. They have a tenant patrol, and they call police on you all the time. I see it all the time. It's so disgusting. Like, mind your business. Be in your house. Enjoy it. You know. So you spend so much money on this house, and you got nosy neighbors every time you have a barbecue. Or if your dog bark or whatever, um, they call the police. Every minute they call the police on you. So it's just not comfortable, you know. So you end up walking away um, from your home and maybe purchase or renting it out. You know, some people will do it. Some people will stay and be miserable. Some people can't stay. It. Some people walk away. You know what I mean? And then, like, for instance, now I'm on this uh, um, job. I like my job, you know. But some people, they're on their job, um, and just because of traffic, um, even though they have a job and they should be grateful, the, the commute, the commute, guys, it's too much. Even though you're getting a decent salary and everything, the commute, the commute is too much, and some people walk away uh, for their job because of the distance. <laughs> that's what I mean about walking away from things that's not making you happy because although you're getting the money, um, and, and the job pay nicely. The commute is like an hour back and forth. Or some people live in. I'm in. I'm in uh, New York. I'm in the Bronx, guys. And I used to work all the way in Delaware. You know, when I first split up with my husband, um, I had to go two hours back and forth every day. But the money was nice. But how long could I keep that up for? You know, it didn't matter about the money. So I had to walk away from the finance and get something else closer because. Um, the stress of driving uh, two hours away, um, God forbid if something should happen to my child, I'm so far away, he's home by himself, you know what I mean? So you gotta walk away from things that don't serve you. It could be in any situation, you know? You got the fake friends, cause listen, you got people in your circle um, that you think are your friends, you know them a long time, so you're not paying attention to, 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 their, to their pattern because you know them so long, so they just regular Joe, Sm Joe Smo to you. You know what I mean? They just regular Sally or regular Jane or regular whoever. You know what I mean? Um, because you're not paying attention that Jane don't like you because you just think it's her attitude. But she don't like you and she's showing you. Other people could come around you and see that Jane don't like you, but you can't see because you're just too up close and personal to even pay attention to what's going on. You know, too close until the end of the relationship, then it, it becomes really toxic to the point where you guys almost want to fight. So this long term friendship, even though you know her for X amount of years, um, this long term friendship now has become toxic. The person is envious and jealous over you. You didn't see it because you wasn't paying attention because you was too connected. You was too close. Until somebody come around and say, listen, that's how the person talks to you. The person is using you every minute. You thinking it's a friend. So you're like, here, no problem. Here's some money. Go get this. Go get that. You know what I mean? But you're not noticing that this person is using you. You, you never see that Jane never takes some money out. She only like to hang around you because uh, you're like a given person. You're a given. She's a taker. You, you never notice that. You know what I mean? Because you were, you really generally is a good friend, but she's not genuine to you at all. She just want to take, 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 take. It's like you're around people. I remember when I was like 18 years old and you know, um, I had like car, I had, I had my car since I was 18. I've been driving, you know? And then when I lost my car, all my friends was always in my car. And when I lost my car, I had 
no friends, you know? So what? Basically, they were just using you, you know what I'm saying? For your for your stuff that you have, for material things. They weren't really your friend, you know? You gotta learn how to walk away from these people. So when I see that they didn't come around, and when I did get another car and they tried to like befriend me again, I was like, oh no. I walked away from that, I don't care. It's like, sometimes guys, you cannot, um, scared to walk alone, scared to be by yourself. You know what I mean? It's okay. You're never alone anyway. You know what I'm saying? Got to know how to walk away. That means from family, uh, um, a spouse, a job, you got to learn how to walk away. Um, same thing. You could be on a job for years, you know? Um, and then one day, maybe somebody new come on the job and you've been looking for um, a promotion. And these people, they use you for... Uh, your skills basically because you know the job you've been there a long time but maybe you don't have the degree or uh, the 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 the, um, the higher uppers the supervisors may think that they know you know the job because they even come to you um, um, for questions that they have because you've been there so long you know the job everything they will never ever give you um, a position um, you know because you've been there you still have to apply for the job. Right, so you may get team lead, but you will never get management, even though you're training the managers, <laughs> you know. Um, and then this one person come on, and you train the person, and then they give the person the job, and the person don't have um, a longer time on the job like you. And even though the person now get the position that you wanted, you same one have to go train the person. How is that fair? Just because the person have a piece of paper, which is a bachelor's degree but you don't have a bachelor's degree but you have that that's why i think some jobs need to rethink these things i've seen it with my own eyes because the person have so much experience but because they don't have the little stupid paper you know oh kudos to everybody that got their degrees i got one too you know but i'm just saying uh it's so unfair because the, the paper don't make you honey i know a lot of people think the paper makes them you know what i mean um, and then the, the next person come in and, and get the job and then you have to be there working under a person. So it comes a time now. You've been on this job for 20 years. Um, you were so secure in a job, you didn't leave. But that particular thing make you leave. That particular thing make you leave. Where am I going? Oh, they call this the Robert Kennedy Bridge now? And I'm thinking it's the Triborough Bridge. Wow. Okay. Learn something new every day. For me, it's the Triborough Bridge because I I, I, um, I don't even look at the signs when, when I drive because I've been taking this this uh, this journey for three years now, you know, and I live in the Bronx for 30 years. So anyway, guys, I'm saying that to say that it took that person to come on the job to make you finally had enough. Your rope, your cup runneth over. That's enough. You know, now you're ready to step into just because of that experience. Now you're ready to step into uh, what God called you to do, basically, is to move up. Because you've still been on this job for 20 years waiting for them to acknowledge you, and they did not. They just continue to use you, use you. And that's what I mean by it comes a time when you have to, um, when you have to uh, move on, guys. Yeah. You have to move on. I'm on this bridge, but why does this look so strange? Even though it looks like I'm... You guys, you know, you, you you ever been someplace and you take the same journey every day, but it's just like, how could I explain it? You never pay attention to the things around you because you're so used to the things around you, just used to these things. So you never really pay attention. Wow. Pay attention, guys. Don't be like me. It just looks so different, you know? Anyway, so, um, yeah, and then you, you, you go to the new location, guys, and they uh, everything just feel new and beautiful to you, you know? Everything feel new and beautiful to you, and you strive on the new job because you took that step to just walk away. Cause these, you know why you walked away? Because these people did not appreciate you at all. Which part of my life is this every jogger? Wow, yeah, this look really different today. Yeah, but I'm going to the Bronx. So I don't want to keep that looking. Wow. Who am I? Where am I? This is how I'm feeling right now. 
Um, for some reason, I think I took a different bridge. Yeah, this is a different bridge. This is, let me, I think this is, a. Uh, it says Robert Kennedy. At least I'm heading to the Bronx, so that's fine. Guys, I know I'm like um, out of it right now for this video, but that's what I have to say about it. You know, you got to walk away from anything that's not serving you. I don't care <clears throat> how long you've been on that job, how long you've been in that relationship, how long you think you know that cousin, or how long, oh, just because it's your mother or your father. You understand what I'm saying? You got to walk away. For your own mental health oh wow this is crazy right i take this bridge every day and today it just looked it strange wow my god i feel like gonna get some shrimp shrimp in harlem the traffic look really good do i want to go to harlem no i might go home and cook some flitters you know jamaican flitters guys they call it fish cake yum yum Anyway, guys, I'm serious about that, though. Um, sometimes, guys, you have to walk away to gain your respect because the person is taking you for granted because they think you're going to always be there. I know that I did a video like this uh, um, a while ago. You guys got to look back on my videos. Um, yeah, I did a video like this a long time ago. You know, but I, I I thank the person that requested this video. Um, guys, you got to walk away to get your respect sometimes. Sometimes you're with your partner. Let me share my testimony. 25 years, honey. 25 years married. And I had to walk away because the person started playing with me, taking me for granted, started treating me like crap. And I know I don't deserve it, so I walk away. I walk away with my head up. I walk away. Yes, I was sad and everything, but I had to walk away, guys. Walk away. Because he didn't value me. In the end, he didn't value me, and he was playing with me. So I had to walk away, guys. Loud, I'm pro. And sometimes, guys, you got to walk away to show the next generation that's coming up behind you. You got to show them, like, especially if you got little girls or little boys, um... You got to show them that you don't tolerate this behavior. You don't tolerate it and that's just not the way for someone to treat you. You know what I mean? You got to walk away. Or uh, Sometimes people walk away from salaries and take a lower salary. Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, sometimes people walk away from the high salary to take a lower salary. Why? Because maybe they don't want to move to that state. Or maybe this responsibility was going to be way over the top and they just had people with where they are. Because sometimes it's not all about the money. It's about the principle, the respect. You understand? Yeah, and the way people make you feel is a big part of it as well. Um, and some people will call those people uh, stupid for walking away from this uh, so much money. But money don't make you happy, guys. Money don't make you happy. One day I will tell you guys, um, I know you're looking at me and you don't believe, but um, um, I know how it feels to be a millionaire, basically. And I know how it feels to have nothing as well. Okay? That's a real story. It's not fake. So, saying that to say, um, money don't make you happy. And sometimes you just have to walk away. Some people walk away, guys, uh, because of situation. They have to walk away, uh, run, leave their apartments, run, leave everything they have just because circumstances, things happen. So, you know, so um, I guess the whole lesson behind this is when you do have to walk away from whatever these situations are, just know that God will replenish you if you believe in God anyway. If you want to save the universe, that's fine too. Um, it will replenish you, you know, nothing is lost. What is for you is for you, okay? What is for you is for you, guys. Nothing, everything in, in life, take it as a lesson, learn. Hopefully you learn your lesson, because if you don't learn your lesson, you're going to continue to keep on going in the cycle over and over and over again. So whatever happens to you in life, learn from it, grow from it, um, 
And by the way, you should teach through it as well. You know you have your signal on and these people don't let you in. Silly. New York is different, guys. Walk away. Walk away. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's amazing how people drive in New York, you know? You walk away for your sanity in the name of Jesus because sometimes, guys, you have to walk away from even the country that you're in. Sometimes you have to run away from a country that you're living in because whatever it is, you get yourself involved. So you walk away from a lot of situation that's not serving you. You got to walk away. Is it worth your life? Sometimes people have to run for their life. Sometimes people stay in a relationship and know that this person don't mean them well because you feel it in your intuition and you keep on trying to stay there and fix it. And you know what happened, guys? They try to poison you. They end up trying to kill you because they can't stand you. But you keep forcing it. Don't force nothing in life. Real story I'm telling you about. I'm in the Bronx now, guys. That was, that was really pretty quick. I hope this answer your question. This is like a, it's just so much uh, material to work with in the, in the world, guys. There's so much things going on. And I want you guys to know your mental health, especially in the environment that we live in now, your mental health is number one, number one. So anything that's taking away your peace, you got to push it away. You got to get rid of it. I truly believe that. And that's anything. You know what I mean? Sometimes people walk away because they don't know how to face people. They walk away without giving people closure. They walk away in a derogatory, dis disrespectful way. But you always know what happened to those people. Those same people that step on you and treat you like crap. They always come back around and need a favor from you. That's why it's not good to treat people messed up. Anything you do in it. Anything you're doing in life, do, do it with respect and with, with dignity and integrity, okay? Because you never know, guys, this, this world, I'm telling you, <laughs> this world is different. You never know. <laughs> I'm going to share one story with you guys real quick. You never know who you're going to meet on the, ne the other end of the door, basically, Okay? So we were working at an environment, me and a girlfriend, right? And um, she really wanted to leave uh, the job badly. Um, the person that she interviewed with was our first manager for the location that we were actually working in, the one that she was trying to leave. So we, we knew the manager that she was interviewing with. She was so shocked when she uh, went and saw the manager that was going to interview her, um, um, she just knew that she had the job. You know why she never get the job, guys? She didn't get the job because she used to gossip a lot. So she didn't get the job. And the lady should remember that. So that's why I'm saying treat people nice because you never know. The person that you step on today is the person that you might need tomorrow. And that's a true story. That is a fact. Life is so funny. It might be you treat somebody bad, right? Life is so funny, guys. I'm telling you. You might treat somebody like crap, and guess what happened? You might end up going to hospice or a hospital or something, right? And the nurse that's taking care of you or the doctor is the person you shit on because you thought that person was nobody. But the person end up growing um, and learning and the person end up getting their degree because uh, life is amazing. I'm telling you um, The person end up getting a degree and now is a doctor and that's the doctor that's taking care of you What are you gonna do in a situation like that? You know, you got to treat people right guys You know, it could be like um, a homeless person that you used to treat so bad uh, Look up Steve Harvey was homeless Paul Mitchell that make the product was homeless so many people was homeless guys and look at them today. You never, never, never know. Tiffany Yadish, that's her name. Um, so you treat people right. That's all I got to say. That, that would be my advice to everybody listening is to treat people right. Because today you might feel like 
you're up, 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 up and away. You might feel like you are on top of the world and we all fall. We all fall. We, we have highs in life and we have lows in life. Everybody have highs and lows, okay? Treat people nice. I don't care. Um, you you know, some people think they're better than people, but you never know. I wish I could show you this man right now. Perfect example. He's in a wheelchair. God, why can't I, why can't I throw this camera around? Can I? No, no, that's a picture. Anyway, my phone is not an iPhone, okay, guys? <laughs> but perfect example. There's a man in a wheelchair in the middle of the street, just like, you know, I'm driving. And he looked like he could only move. I guess he's a quadriplegic. And he's in the middle of the road, guys. It's certain things that happen to you in life that make you act differently. I wonder why he would be in the middle of the road like that. Yeah, it's certain things that happen to you in life that make you act differently. This is why, like, when I'm on the street, I love... Um, you know, guys, I had a radio show, right? It's called Beauty Chat Radio. You guys can go check it out on Blog Talk Radio. Um, and I interview people for a living, so I'm always talking to people. I love it. It's just very interesting, you know, people's journey in life. Never, ever look down on anyone because you don't know they could be the one that's giving you a hand tomorrow. No matter what you think the situations are. All right, guys. So anyway, I went on and on and on and on, but that's that's it. That's my video. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the request. You guys can always request a video. Um, my everything I do is on the Roses Resources. That's Roses with the S. Resources with the S. Um. Follow me, guys. Follow me. Okay? Thank you, guys. Make sure you comment. Make sure you give me a subscription. Because when it gets to 500, um, I will be giving out one of my bags. One of my bags. One of my Roses Resources bags. All right, guys. Thank you so much.